thing goes really fast. Three miles, five dollars. This is what it's all about right here. <laughs> there'll be a lot of fire, there'll be a lot of smoke, and there'll be a lot of excitement. Pray the best answer I can give you is prayers. Everyone asking for prayers tonight. It's been a little more than 24 hours since that blast rocked this small town. We're just out here slow rolling, seeing what might come our way. It's a Saturday in October. Across the country, thousands of football players from college, Why? all the way down to Pee Wee, are suiting up and ready to go. Go, go, go! Woo! 10 year old Garrett Gill is standing on the sidelines, ready and anxious to get in the game against Breckenridge. Is it going in? And fellow Jim Ned faithful every Saturday. When Garrett made it into the game on a chilly Wednesday night, one play brought an entire stadium to its feet. Against Clyde, coach called for the Garrett special. The way he spikes the ball when he runs through, I think everybody was so nervous at the time and excited for Garrett. Garrett special, call it. Garrett special. Excited because before the game even started, Coach Rob Young met with the Clyde coaches. Listen, we, we've, we've got a kid on our team that uh, needs to score a touchdown. He's, you know, he's, he's out there giving it all he's got and wants to be out there, but I uh, just can't be out there with everybody every, every play. It's not all about winning in life. It's about, you know, helping others also. Garrett isn't supposed to be here. He has leukodystrophy and wasn't expected to live past the age of five. It's a rare condition that develops early in life when a white layer of cells fails to grow over the part of the brain that controls speech, movement, and mental and physical development. It makes patients like Garrett prone to organ failure and possibly death. At three months of age, I noticed that he wasn't hitting his milestones. And so I went to his doctor and he noticed it too. I, I couldn't help but say, why, why is this happening to my little boy? What, what happened? One, two, three. A stroke before he was born impairs his speech. Set, hit! Get there, good! And seizures to the present day keep him from being in full contact drills. Set, hit! He can have a very bad epileptic seizure, and um, if it is not controlled properly, it can lead to death. So when a kid like Garrett, all smiles Good and job. loves sports, has that once in a lifetime yeah. moment to step out of the shadows and score his first touchdown. Like scale of one to 10, how awesome was it? Uh, I don't know. Still so better than the 10? Yeah. What was the first thing you said after you scored that touchdown? <laughs> Boy, yeah. It was not just a touchdown. I was I was in tears. Everybody beside me were in tears. I love you. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Today I'm pretty much trying to start. When did they come out with the ultimate toys for kids? I'm looking for grandkids stuff. I haven't bought any grandkids presents, so I'm trying to find some toys for them. It glows. Look, it glows. It's fun to open packages and give presents to each other. <laughs> tradition, it's always tradition. And I just love the decorations. I love doing it for really my grandkids. Hey mom, can I do this? Enjoying themselves and enjoying what they get. The five-year-old wants um, Lego stuff. What do you see? Ten. The little babies, they don't care. They're just, would take anything. Mom, I'm doing everything. Okay. Mom? Etsy, come here. If my dog attacked somebody, I'd feel it would be my responsibility to take care of them. Alexis Nelson has three dogs and would like to have more. Come on, bud. 
Nelson says the actions of her animals are her own responsibility. I feel as though like if you are going to take on the responsibility of having a dog, then you should be able to make sure that it's safe around everything and everyone. But state law reads differently, at least the first time around. Texas is one of 18 states where the owner cannot be held liable the first time their dog bites someone. Ready? At least not if the owner has no reason to believe the dog might attack and if no local laws, like leash laws, have been violated. Bear, come here. It's a law that some say is warranted. It could be an accident. The dog could be out, a good dog running around, and somebody pesters a dog and irritates them or does something with them or tries to throw a rock at them, and the dog's going to react. However, animal control officer Joe Helm says Abilene has a stricter ordinance covering dog bites. The owner's uh, responsible for whatever damages that the animal does to a victim or, you know, to a vehicle or anything like that. Where's Santa? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Is that your winder? And while the holiday season is sometimes referred to as the most wonderful time of the year. Holiday spirit would mainly be about like, you know, helping others and, you know, like being more connected with things and being more with your family. For those who live near the Mall of Abilene, it's also the busiest. It is a madhouse. If all the people and all the drivers would just be courteous, oh, we would have a much better holiday season. How can you make sure to stay safe and keep from becoming a Scrooge behind the wheel this holiday season? You need to tell yourself right now that you're going to be around congested uh, malls and shopping areas. And uh, why put a, a, a lump of coal in your spirit when you know that the best thing you can do is just to be patient, patient, and even more patient to make sure that you avoid a collision. So you can have yourself Santa. a merry little Christmas. How about? Oh, I'm nice. Sorry. People on South 19th Street watched in shock as their neighbor's home went up in flames. It basically was burning up the whole front of the house and it just, it took, it took a while for them to put it out too. It was, it was really huge. It was a big fire. I don't know how to explain it. I've never seen a fire like that. It wasn't long before the roof caved in and flames burned up almost everything inside. <laughs> Firefighters say the residents were not there at the time, but they think a cat was lost in the blaze. There were also other factors that made the firefighters job more difficult, like a water main break nearby. We called an additional engine, one for manpower and two in case we had to lay to a different hydrant, kind of threw us a, a curveball on, on the fighting the fire. And soaring temperatures. Due to the, the heat and, and everything, it was, it was a little more severe than normal. Firefighters were able to put those flames out in about 15 minutes, but the heat from the flames was so hot that it actually melted the siding of the house just to the east of this fire. Selena Cardona lives next to the home that burned today. She watched as flames moved dangerously close to her house. I ran up and the fire was just outrageous. Like it's, it's so big. I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. I'm just, I'm scared. The side of my house is like melted and like the trimming is like just falling down. I don't know, like it could have easily went inside, but I'm, I'm just glad it didn't. Jennifer Kendall, K Texas News.